Hello everyone, today we'll explore something special, uh, we'll explore stress. So, what about stress? And why am I talking about stress today? Well, uh, as you know, I am busy in helping people improve their way of working and this applies to specifying system and doing all kinds of, uh, let's say, uh, scoping work. And of course, when you do scoping work, you are trying to reconcile multiple interests and you need to find what is the common interest. The problem is, as the people doing the reconciliation, you have a number of different interests that are pushing in all kinds of directions and it's hard to find this common ground. You have to clarify the situation. So, some uh, elements of importance are, well, you are not going to control the other people. So, how can you get a clear objective? Well, if you want the objective to be we will get a super nice end result, uh, mm, it's not going to be an objective you can really guarantee because an objective, if you are going to accept it, has to be under your control. So, when formulating an objective, the objective has to be under your control. So what you can do is, you can help people reaching agreement, but you cannot guarantee that they will reach agreement first. So, once you understand that, the pressure will drop. Of course, uh, if you aim for the fact that everyone will agree and you are convinced of that, you are going to die under stress. Right, then you have to know that for stress it's about a continuum. And there is a nice book called Flow, which talk about that. Let's picture on this axis the challenge you face and on this axis your ability or your skill. Basically if I give you a challenge that really is above your skill level you will end up in anxiety or stress will be negative stress on this area. Then you have another area where your skill is really above the challenge and then uh, you will be bored as hell. Right. So there is a place where your skill matches your challenge and you have two limits up and down. Right. Let's say here would be your limits. So, to be working in this, under positive stress, you have to be in this area. If you are in this area, right, you may end up working into a close to boredom situation, but positive stress is going to be here. It's good to work under positive stress. If you work without stress, you, you will not be really effective. So, the thing is, if you continue with your current skill level you can go up to a given situation and if someone gives you this extra challenge you will be forced to go to the right to increase your ability otherwise you will not be able to make it so you would have a top level channel like this you have another thing is if you do always the same kind of thing, by nature you become better at doing it. So your skill level increases and you get bored more and more. That's why you will need better challenges. And then we have another channel here. This channel makes it for management as a good evolution path because 
people will evolve inside it to stay motivated. Well, at one moment you have to change the plane, otherwise they will reach the maximum challenge that your organization can provide for the maximum skill people can have. And because they will reach boredom at one point here, for example. So, uh, some situations that can be uh, found in here. You may have people who go into challenges that are too high for them as a management as management, you have to put them back here, otherwise they will be burned out over time. Also, you have people who really don't grow by themselves, so you need to have to, to give them a kick to get there. So there is not one right way, but you should keep them here. And this channel is called flow. The thing is, when you are in flow, you don't see the time that goes by, and you really enjoy yourself. It's like, oh, I come to work and at the end of the day, oh, it's already six. I never realized it went so fast. Uh, compare it with a day spent here or a day spent there. So that's about it for today. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.